In this video, I want to talk to you about the Juki TL2010Q. The 2010Q has probably been the best-selling, most versatile uh, straight stitch only machine that Juki has ever produced. Not only is the machine built very durable, there are a lot of accessories that comes with it standard. These machines have been our go-to with the Juki for several years now. And let's tell you a little bit about the features of the machine and then we'll sew on it. On the TL series, there are several models within the TL series. You may want to take a look at our website because Ken Sewing Center will carry all of them. But the TL2010Q is a very versatile model that gives you quite a bit to offer and to look at. The first thing you want to look at when you're looking at a straight stitch only machine, if you're just doing heavier sewing, whether it be upholstery, denim, lightweight leather, or you may eventually want to get into do quilting, or you are doing quilting now, and you want to go to a quilting frame, the TL2010Q would be one I would highly recommend looking at. The number one reason would be from your needle to the inside of the sewing arm is eight and three quarter inches. You have plenty of room within the sewing arm itself to roll up your finished product if you're doing free motion quilting, because I can drop my feed dog to this lever here, and then I have plenty of room to work with on this machine, it will come with the extension table that I can slide. It's made specifically for this model. And then I have plenty of room to support the weight of my material as I'm doing free motion work. If I'm sewing on a larger piece of material, it really does help support the weight of that material. And there is a bobbin uh, access door here if I need to change my bobbins out because this machine is a side loading, fully metal bobbin case machine. The 2010Q will sew 1,500 stitches per minute. Here I have the ability to, look, to adjust the stitch length. I have a built-in scissor that will snip the bobbin in the top thread for me at any given time. I have a needle up, needle down button here. Reverse is easily convenient right in front of me. Here's one big difference in some of the other TL models is I can regulate the speed of the machine. Because this machine sells a lot faster than a regular sewing machine, for certain projects you may want to override the foot control. It does come with a foot control that is kind of a dual purpose foot control. The harder you press on the foot control, the faster the machine will go. So if I want to go as fast as the machine will let me, I'll raise this all the way to the top and then press down on my foot control as hard as I can. I can let off of it just like you're driving your vehicle. When you let off of the foot control, it's going to slow the machine down. But then I also can press the back side of the foot control and it'll snip the thread for me. So it's built into my scissor as well or if you just want to hit your scissor button on the front of the machine it makes it convenient and i want to keep my hands on my fabric at all times so if i don't want to take my hands off the fabric to push the button i can just hit my foot control and i can snip the thread very easily threading of the tl 2010q is very simple i do have two spool pins built in so if i want to have maybe one with my regular thread and then have another with my bobbin thread i can easily do that but everything in the book will talk about how it is channeled all the way down to my needle. I do have a built-in needle threader on the machine here. Accessing the bobbin area is very easy. It just comes in from the side here and there's plenty of room that you can get your, your hand in there and your fingers to do what you need to do. On the bed of the machine, there are places uh, that are machined out that I can put a seam guide if I wanted to. This particular model does have the ability and it will come with the built-in knee lift so I can raise and lower my pressure foot for my free motion work or if I just want to raise and lower the pressure foot and keep my hands on the material I can do that with my knee with the little lever that comes out. It does have uh, rubberized feet underneath. I do have this one sitting on a cutting on a sewing mat right now. This will not damage your kitchen table or your cabinet that you're working with if you want to do that. Also I will have adjustable pressure here that I can regulate the amount of force being pressed down on my pressure foot. The feed dogs on this machine are a little bit longer than most, so you're gonna be able to handle a wide variety of materials. We're gonna sew on some denim, some uh, vinyls today, and some stretch material. We can adjust how hard that's pressing down on us so that we don't have to worry about it going down into the throat plate, but it's gonna be extremely hard to get any material down there because this is a straight stitch throat plate on the machine. The only stitch this machine does is straight stitch. You will get a true straight stitch on the Juki TL 2010 because inside of the machine, the, the internal housing is bored out. So when my needle moves up and down, my needle bar it is moving straight up and straight down into a machine cylinder inside. And there's no way 
that needle can move left to right. I'm trying to move it right now. She will get that true straight stitch for garment sewing, for quilting, and for free motion. This is definitely a plus. Here I'm sewing, going to be sewing on four layers of denim, which that's going to be roughly about the side seam on a pair of jeans. I do have plenty of lift under my foot control, and we'll just sew along. It'll go through that with no problem. Here I have a very heavy vinyl. That is four layers of vinyl. That's four layers of vinyl that I have under the foot of the machine. So if I want to roll that under, if I needed to do something this thick, Then I have a little razor on the side of the machine. So you can handle doing this with no problem whatsoever. You may not do a lot of heavier sewing. It may just be from time to time. But here is just a stretchy material that I'm working with. I'm going to show you just how delicate the feed dog system is on this machine to be able to feed things that are stretchy. Like say if you're wanting to sew a t-shirt, sweatshirt, or any garment that has any kind of stretch to it, we can adjust our stitch length. And we'll go down on our stitch length just a little bit here. No puckering on that material at all. Another big plus to the TL2010 versus other TL models is the amount of accessories that comes with the machine. We've shown you the table that comes with it. It does come with the walking foot that's made for this machine. It's a commercial grade walking foot. That is roughly a $150 attachment. It is included. You will get the free motion all metal stippling foot that will be included with the machine. That can handle because this machine sells 1500 stitches a minute. When you're doing free motion, you want a foot that's going to be able to handle doing that. So I have the machine set up for free motion. I do have the pre-tensioner built in that really aids in the tension delivery to the fabric when we're doing free motion. So if you ever get to the point where I want to do that a lot or if I'm going to put the machine on a frame, you will definitely enjoy the pre-tensioner that's built in on the machine. That will save you a lot of hassle there. Ken Sewing Center has been an authorized GQ dealer for well over 20 years now. We carry all the models within the Juki line, and we can compare different models for you, help you find the exact machine that's going to do the task you're wanting to do. Feel free. You can drop us an email. You can call us or anytime. We'll be glad to help you and narrow down your decision for you.